on. Hi, it's our trailer is dripping. Why? Because of these guys. <laughs> uh, well, we'll come back to the farm in a week in a different shape. This, my friends, is why farm kits are tougher. There on the side you don't really have a ditch, it's just scraping off some dirt there, but then here we're gonna fix it, a bunch of it. Here's someone who wants to see the excavator. Come here, Danny. Come. Come to Papa. What do you see there? Bugger. I'm Bugger, yeah. So Danny just said the German word, Bugger. Because um, I'm German and my wife is American and we live in Sweden. <laughs> Hi, Henry. It's not every day you see this in front of our door, huh? Yeah, that's dirt. So, I'm not really sure what killed that moose. Nobody really knows. At least what I have heard. Just came here and saw this cow having a quite nasty injury or wound right behind its ear no idea what that would be from to be honest just standing here with my iPhone gonna zoom in on that really don't know what that is from I've never seen them fighting and especially at a spot like like fighting in, in such a way that they would get wounds from it but especially that is a, re a really weird spot and we don't have barbed wire there's nowhere here where she could have gotten entangled I'm not really sure what that wound is from Can you turn around and show me your ear there you go doesn't look nice weird I couldn't picture at all that being something from a predator no idea what that comes from you see here that I have them in a confined area um, they're very calm she has this weird nasty wound right behind her ear just got to keep an eye on it it's cool enough now normally so we don't have flies that bother the wound um, except for right now for a few days it's actually getting fairly warm unusually warm for this time of year but after that um, it'll go back down to normal again and so um, the flies won't bother that wound because it's really the flies that can keep such a wound from healing so now I'm down here by the cows again and this cow with the wound she's acting super weird she went straight through the fence um, to a completely different field I had to catch her and I had to now open up big where I was doing a controlled mop grazing just because she is running around like crazy and, and chasing and bothering all the other cows which is super strange uh, she has never done that before and she, um, somehow the herd is uh, a little disturbed right now by her but she's disturbed by something um, no idea if there are like 
predators around here. She is just acting super weird. Hey. What's up, girl? You seem so stirred up. What's up? Huh? Yeah, it's all good. Oh, look at, she has a wound behind that ear as well. Now this is the cow that never gave birth. So she doesn't have a calf. She's big and round because she's eating like a harvester. But uh, she doesn't have a calf and I, I almost think that she um, is like Sally and she can't have babies because she was with a bull for a long time. She was with a bull for a long time and not pregnant. But she's acting super weird. She looks like she wants to go straight through the fence. Look at that. She's completely looking like they do when they go through the fence, when they bust through there. And she has so much room here and so much fresh grass. I'm sorry guys, I'm just thinking out loud here. But you can just tell, she's unsettled. Sorry guys, I'm just out here with the iPhone. I wasn't planning on filming this. Just trying to capture this. Look, now she's going to that fence over there again. And there's electricity on there. She's just going back there. Again, acting like she wants to bust through that fence. Look at that. Standing back there. All the other cows are eating. Now she's eating again. And it seems like really seems like she's itching a lot um, behind her ears. She's probably itching herself there like crazy and I don't know why I gotta look into that. Why is she, um, why is she so itchy behind her ears? That these, this breed, they are very <sighs> stretchy. <laughs> they, they can actually um, lick their udder or go with their back hooves and, and itch themselves um, behind their ears and stuff. Um, I don't know if all cattle breeds can do that uh, when they're full grown and older cows already but um, she has probably itched herself those wounds behind her ear. Don't know why. It's not like she's itching the whole time right now. Weird. We are here right now down by the sawmill and we are milling some lumber for the cow shelter and you see that this is lumber we have milled and it has turned and twisted some and we're just going to straighten it out with the sawmill now.
last one. And a beautiful, beautiful sunset on this evening.